Is it actually possible to create full professional motion design and different types of animation using AI? The honest answer is, it depends. To a certain extent, yes. And when you combine AI with a few simple tricks from traditional media production tools, your possibilities grow a lot. Today I want to show you what's actually possible right now and whether you can realistically rely on AI models when creating animated content. Before we dive in, make sure to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss more content like this. First, I'll use a custom GPT inside ChatGPT that's specifically designed for writing prompts for the Nano Banana model. This helps me generate a high quality, very precise prompt that gives much more controlled results. Our goal here is simple. We want a clean, minimalist, growing green chart, something neutral and professional. I take the prompt and drop it into the FreePic image generator using Nano Banana. A 2K resolution works best in this case. Now we wait for the result. All right, it's not terrible, but it could definitely be better. So I'll try again. This time I'll modify the prompt and emphasize that I want a glass effect. That should add a bit of uniqueness and also let us see how it affects the animation later on. We repeat the process and generate again. Okay, this is better. This will work. Now I'll ask Nano Banana to remove the chart from the generated image, keeping the background fully intact. Doing this in Photoshop could introduce subtle background differences and those differences often show up later during animation. Now we've got a clean background. The chart is gone and everything looks consistent. I upload both versions into the FreePic video generator and use Kling01, which is a newer and surprisingly effective model. I'm curious how it handles this clean, minimal style. For video prompts, I like using FreePic's built-in prompt suggestions. It's a newer feature, but honestly, it's very helpful. We wait for the result. And as you can see, we do get an animation. It's not amazing, but it's not bad either. It's solid if you need contextual animation, but it's definitely not a premium animation that stands on its own. Now I'll generate a similar animation using Google VO3, just to compare. And honestly, this version is more interesting. I like it more visually. The downside of VO is heavy compression. Even tools like Topaz Labs can't fully fix it, which for me rules VO out for serious commercial use. Now let's take a more complex infographic from FreePic. This time I want something with a lot of elements and text, even if the text itself isn't important. I want to see how AI handles complexity. All right, we've got our base image. Now we remove everything except the background, same process as before. I upload both frames into Kling01 and move on to creating the prompt. In the prompt builder, I ask for a simple, minimalist, smooth animation of the infographic. Looks good. Let's generate. And honestly, it's not bad. The biggest downside is that the text warps in a strange way. Here's a small but very powerful trick. We'll use After Effects. Add the pixel motion blur effect, set it to manual, and increase the shutter angle significantly. After Effects analyzes the motion in the image and adds motion blur accordingly. This is often crucial for making animations feel smooth. With AI-generated animation, this trick is especially important because it hides those weird distortions. As you can see, the difference is huge. It instantly feels more professional. Now let's try a logo animation. I'll grab a simple logo from FreePic. That one will work. The background is already white, so I don't need to remove it. I just prepared it manually at the same resolution. I asked the prompt builder for a simple, clean animation of both the symbol and the text. We've got the prompt. Time to generate. Honestly, the result is very interesting. There are flaws, but the core idea is solid. A skilled motion designer could recreate this manually without the weird AI behavior and end up with something really strong. Now I'll run it through Pixel Motion Blur. As a low-budget logo animation, this actually works. I'd probably cut one or two weaker seconds, but the rest looks surprisingly good. Now I'll try another logo. This one is even simpler. Shorter text and a less complex symbol. Same process as before. We wait for the result. And this one came out strange. Ironically, the simpler logo performs worse than the more complex one. AI completely struggles here. I'll try again using VO3. I adjust the prompt to better fit VO's structure. Let's wait. The potential is higher. Still nothing amazing, but clearly better than the Kling result. I didn't want to give up, so I tried one more thing. I removed the text entirely and kept only the logo symbol. This time, I go back to Kling01. Better quality, and if it works, we can animate the text later in After Effects. We wait for the result. And uh, yeah, it's not a disaster like before, but it's still a bit strange. Finally, let's create an animated B-roll. This time, not flat 2D graphics, 
but a simulated push and shot on a magazine with highlighted text. I asked my custom GPT to generate the prompt. For Nano Banana, I trust this more than FreePix prompt builder. We generate the first image. This looks great. Very sharp, high quality, and the text is clean. Now I manually ask for a close-up on one word with emphasis. This will serve as our final frame. We wait. And this turned out really well. I use Kling01 here. This should work smoothly without surprises. And there it is. This one is a banger. Easily the best result today. So, as you can see, AI can already handle a lot when it comes to motion design, but it still needs guidance. On its own, it gives you solid building blocks. When you combine it with a few classic post-production tricks, you can push the results much further and make them feel genuinely professional. It's not about replacing motion designers, it's about expanding what's possible faster. That's it for this one. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next breakdown.